So in this video, we're going to take a look at the S key, which is a biometric fingerprint card made by a company called Freevault in the UK. I'm just going to quickly showcase the integration into BreeCS. There was no code update required because the Paxton desktop and normal readers will support this out of the box. So in turn, BreeCS will just natively support it. So when you first get the card, you will present it to the reader. In this example, I've got the HID OmniKey 5321. I'm using this just for video purposes. It's just so the uh, card can be powered up because the fingerprint reader that's built into the card is actually powered by harvesting energy from the coil within the reader itself. So just to have a real close up zoom, I'm just using that HID OmniKey, but you can use any compatible reader. So we'll present that to the reader. It will then start flashing the green light, at which point we present the finger we want to roll, take it off, place it back, take it off, place it back again, and we just keep doing this until we get a solid green LED. At which point the fingerprint is now enrolled and it can be used as a standard card. The only difference being is that when you present the card to the reader, you just have to make sure that your finger is within that black patch area. Uh, and as such, when you present the card, it will read the fingerprint, pad the card up, and send data to open the door or turnstile. So, using the standard Paxton Net2 desktop reader, uh, which is a USB reader, 514-326, you open BreeCS, and you click Add New User as Normal, and fill in the details. Then you click the Add Card button in the bottom left-hand corner of the Add New User record. That will then open and connect to the reader. You can see it's now flashing green. And we'll just take the card and present that to the reader. And we can see it will fill the box. Then we can add that user. And then if we present the card to the Paxton P50 reader, which has to be the MyFair Genuine HID variant, with my finger on the square patch, i.e. the fingerprint reader. Then access will be granted. As we can see, S key free vault pop up in the bottom right hand corner uh, and allow us to pass through the door or turnstile in question. So acts as a standard card. The only difference is you just make sure that your finger is placed on the reader, fingerprint reader on the card itself. When you present that to the reader, at the turn at the turnstile at the door and then it will just function as normal and let you through i'll now do another uh, video showcasing the same card on a suprema reader so this card um, is not primarily used just for paxton p50 readers it will work with any supported reader and the suprema x pass d2 um, is no exception so as we can see if i just present the card you'll get nothing but if I place my thumb onto the black patch, which is the fingerprint reader at the same time, then it will pass that data through. And should that user be valid within the system, access will be granted. Okay, so now I'll leave you with some tech specs and some images of the card where I've shined a light through the back of it so you can see a bit of the internals. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.